Hi guys, today we're going to be fixing some rock chips on this 2018 Escape and then we're going to be giving it a little polish. Let's get at her. Up here in Canada, it's basically impossible to keep a car free of rock chips or scratches, especially in the winter time. They sand the heck out of the roads, got big trucks flying around all the time, and it's tough, it's really tough on paint. This is the first brand new car we bought, and we're like, ah, we don't need to spend the thousand extra dollars at the dealership for 3M on the hood, which is an obscene amount of money for 3M. But looking back, I'm kind of regretting not installing it myself on this thing, even for just the first foot, because there's like a million rock chips in it. Here, come have a look. So, 2018 Escape. As you can see, the paint itself is actually held up not that bad. You can see those lights nice and clear in it. But all of these, they're not, they're not dirt. Those are all chips, every single one of them. Especially in the front, look at this. That's just brutal. I could have prevented 90% of this by just putting 3M to here, and then we would have been fine. I'll be doing that on this thing shortly so it doesn't end up looking like this. But hindsight's always 2020. So we're gonna do our best to fill these in today and then give it a little polish. What we're gonna be working with here today is just some, well, the color code on this escape is Ford Tuxedo Black. So you can pick this up at your local Napa. They have all of them in stock, right? Just look up your color code first then go ask the guy at the front at the store and odds are they probably have it. We just took this thing back from the car wash and then I brought it home and I wiped it down with a microfiber towel, made sure there was no dirt and then I gave it a little wipe with a little bit of degreaser and all these little spots and here we are now. So it's nice and clean. This should stick to the base coat underneath. Not half bad. I'm not going to rough them up or anything. I'm just going to essentially put this little piece of nail polish over every one of these holes and then after that we're gonna put the garage on cook for a little bit and let that paint harden up and then just bought a cheap polish kit today that was on sale 100 bucks off don't need anything too fancy we're gonna give the hood a little bit of a polish and see if we can blend those chips in nicely and uh, see how good it actually brings this paint back out. If that ends up looking nice, who knows? Maybe we'll even find some energy and polish the whole car. Probably not. Okay, there you have it. Step one, done. I didn't try to put too much on. It, it's literally just like a nail polish brush. And with each of the chips, I just find a little dab, little dab, little dab. You go back here and you're like, oh, hey, wow, completely fixed. It's like brand new. What a genius. And then you get a little closer and you're like, oh, that wasn't that good, was it? But that's all right. As it's drying, it smooths out right there. A little bulbous, a little bit of surface tension there with the paint. But as it cooks here for a little bit, it'll flatten out. And then when we put some compound on it and rub it down, and really blend those edges in. And it'll look a lot better than what it did before. And it wasn't actually, I really didn't want it to rust, right? All those rock chips to rust, but I noticed probably 80% of them, 80% of them were just to the primer. There was still like a base coat underneath that wasn't right to the metal. And some of them were like dense. So I'm glad those ones got some paint on them at least because they were already starting to rust. So that would've been bad. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bump this garage up a little warmer and go do some chores in the house for about an hour or two and then come back out and make this thing look shiny. It's been an hour and a little bit. All this stuff, it's dry, it's not tacky. The bottle says it's good to handle after 40 minutes, so we're just gonna go for it. Hopefully this polishing takes out some of these poplar sap marks as well. We just got everything taped up that we uh, don't want to get too much compound on. This is what we're starting with here. Like I said, the paint's not bad at all, but it can always get better. So 
Got this. Just a very light compound with a medium foam pad. Shake well, blah, blah, blah. Add five dots. You know, don't go, man, is there plastic in this? <laughs> All right, one second. Okay, got the plastic out. And heater's kicking on. Just a one, two, three, four, five, a little more, why not? They're little ones, there we go. A dab will do you, you don't need too, too much. I'm gonna need to plug that in. Just gave a, a couple quick spritzes with water from this bottle that looks like it's from Love is Blind. People say you gotta condition the pads. We will first take this and working in small areas. Boop, 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 boop. Just spread it out, you know, a little bit. And then we're gonna put this on number one Kind of get it even more spread out and then we're going to go six and we're going to work this way and then we're going to work this way and then we're going to let it dry and then we're going to buff it off and we're going to move it to the next section so on and so forth i've always polished with like those big 10 inch buffing wheels or just by hand so this is a treat we'll see how this thing works So the polish job came out unbelievable. It's like, it's like a mirror. Really good for seven year old paint that's very thin and never been polished before. But I'm not super impressed with how these came out. They didn't really dry very flat and I would like them to be a little more well hidden. So I'm just going to gently wet sand them all. And that's, uh, that's exactly what you think it is. It's taking sandpaper. It's designed to be wet or dry. In this case, 1000 grit. Soaking it in water with dish soap. Warm water with dish soap, doesn't have to be anything fancy. And very gently working over top of each of these nubs until they're smooth with the body. And then once you very gently do that, you can repolish that area. It will come out with that mirror finish still and all of these little flecks are going to be flush with the body and uh, it's not like a brand new paint job but it'll be hard to tell the difference wait and see I just wasn't happy with the way they stuck out. And this is so much better. All the black chips are filled in, but the fill doesn't extrude onto the original paint. So we just did a blend. We just blended that in with the surrounding paint. And you guys, it's gonna be really intimidating. Use like no pressure, the weight of the sandpaper doing the sanding, right? What's lighter than a feather? That's what you use while you wet sand. And lots of water and lots of dish soap are your best friends, just copious amounts. Don't be scared to lather that stuff on. So now that that's done and there's no more chips showing through, I'm going to repolish all of this. And this is all going to look like it was brand new. And that's gonna make my wife very happy, I think. So I'm gonna wash it first though, spray it down, wash it with a clean cloth, and then polish it. That feels better now, I'm glad I did that. It added like an extra hour and a half to the day for the sanding and then repolishing like 
three more times on it, but totally worth it. Makes me feel like I did the job right, and didn't just half-ass it. I'm wishing I did uh, 1500 grit instead of 1000. Would have uh, saved me a couple passes on the polisher because this is finishing polish, not heavy cut stuff. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Don't be intimidated by sanding cars and paintwork and anything else. Just remember, practice on your wife's car first. It's always easier that way. And uh, yeah, just keep at it. Have a light hand. Just go with what you feel. If, it, uh, if you think you did something terribly wrong, you might have, trust your gut. But yeah, just go gentle, do multiple passes, and it will turn out very nice for you, I promise. Thanks again for watching today, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope this helped someone out. I know it helped me out. We appreciate all your guys' support watching all these videos. Stick around, there's probably lots more we can teach you. And if we can't teach you, we can learn together because we're not perfect and we're just doing it ourselves as well, you know? Just trying to save a buck and do things properly along the way. As always, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, it's free, and we will see you next Tuesday. Thanks. Oh, that must have been Jesse texting me about how bad the Green Bay Packers are gonna be this year. Man, my hands are sore now. I just wanna go drink a beer.